Welcome everyone, this is Kevin from CXC Tutor. I'm happy today because we're finally going to go through the solution to the last question in the May-June Mathematics Paper 2. We're still in the section Vectors and Matrices and today we're going to cover question 11, part C. Let us begin. By looking at the diagram used and some of the notation, I can easily pick up that this question is a vector question and it is read as follows. In the diagram below, the coordinates of P and Q are 2, 4 and 8, 2 respectively. The line segment joining the origin 0, 0 to the point P may be written as OP with an arrow on top. And the first question is, what term is used to describe OP? Now in both physics and mathematics, if you have a quantity that has an arrow on top, it usually signifies that this quantity is a vector. And if you're coming from the origin O to a new location, P, then you have what we say change your position. So OP is actually what we call a position vector. In part 2, we're asked to write each of the following in the form AB, which is a singular column matrix. And part A asks us to write it for the vector OP. Now, to find the vector form, we look at the coordinate P. Now, the coordinate is just a singular point in space. But to write this in vector form, we convert the coordinate into a column matrix. So OP is essentially the vector 2, 4. Likewise, OQ is, is coming from the origin to Q. Therefore, we look at the coordinate 8, 2. And in a column form, OQ is 8 on 2. Now please don't forget your arrows to signify that we're dealing with vectors. So always remember to draw them in when doing these questions. Now moving on to question 2C, we're asked to describe the vector PQ. Now PQ is what we call a displacement vector because you're going from one vector to another. In this case, P to O, then O to Q. So the vector PQ is equal to PO plus OQ. So how are we going to represent this? Well, PO is the reverse of OP that we had before, which was vector 2, 4. So let's write back 2, 4. But now remember that we're dealing with the reverse, so therefore we have to find a negative form of that vector. Plus OQ, which is the same as before, which is 8, 2. You simply add these two vectors together now, and you get the vector 6, negative 2, which is the vector PQ. For those of you who may have a little background in physics, you may realize that there is a different way of working out this question, and that would be to use the formula for displacement, which says final position minus initial position equals your displacement. So let's try that now. An equivalent way of working this question would be to take your final position, which is OQ. So vector OQ minus your initial position, which is vector OP. And you should get the same 6 minus 2. So you can try that at your leisure and see if you get the same answer. Moving on to the next question. Part 3 says, given that OP is equal to RQ, determine the coordinate of the point R. Now to answer this question, we have to again look at the diagram and realize that if they say OP is equal to RQ, 
then it suggests that if we were to take vector OP and transpose it here where Q ends like this we get the vector RQ so R will be this point here now to solve for R we have to figure out how to get from O to R so O to R is the same thing as OQ minus OP and we just worked that out in the last question where we said OQ minus OP is equal to 6 minus 2 therefore the coordinate of R is 6 minus 2 remember a coordinate not column vector this time so moving on to the last question now it asks us to state the type of quadrilateral formed by P Q R and O so let me just finish the diagram if I draw a dotted line from here to here we can easily see that the shape form is that of a parallelogram now I know this figure is a parallelogram because the opposite sides of the diagram are equal but to justify our answer let's check everything that we have done so far in question 3 it says OP is equal to RQ so these two vectors are equal that means this side and this side are equal that is check and OR we worked out to be 6 minus 2 which is exactly equal to PQ which we also worked out as 6 minus 2 therefore these two sides are also equal so that is my justification why this is a parallelogram now if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like share and comment and I personally want to say thank you guys for supporting me as we have been going through these exam solutions together thank you for watching